everybody, Dr. Jamie here, and you are about to listen to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I hope you enjoy the tips and advice in this segment. Hey everyone, Dr. Jamie here with the Dr. Jamie Show. So usually after our 60 minute episode uh, with a guest, we do an audio, but today we're gonna do something special. We have returning guest, Sarah Doring with Simplicity organizing solutions. She is a professional organizer and instead of the audio, this is something visual, something you have to see how to pack for a trip. This is awesome. I couldn't believe it. This was like such an eye opener and I am going to be using these tips uh, when I pack. So can you show us some really cool tips and tricks when packing? Yes. Okay. And it'll speed things up for you and it will help avoid the overpacking that often happens okay. with individuals or families. So what you're going to want to do first um, is kind of the slow and tedious part, which is planning out your days. So you may already have a schedule for your trip, and great, and you probably kind of off the top of your head know what types of activities. You don't need to know what time. It's right. just if you're going to do two things in a day or three, because mm -hmm. basically you're trying to determine what outfits you need or what items you need for those. Right. A dinner at night, you yep. are hiking during the day. Exactly. So day one here is travel day. Set this outside your suitcase. It doesn't even need to go in. It can sit at the foot of your bed. I like rolling the outfit all together so that you know you have everything you need. So workout clothes are a great thing to roll because it's certainly not going to get organized in rolling. Actually really helps a lot of clients. Um, it gives a lot of space. It does. And it just creates a unit. Mm -hmm. So you're not having to pick out this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. It's all together. So the nice thing is here I need socks, undergarments. This shirt is like one of those Lululemon that's together. So okay. it's like a sports bra and a shirt. I love those because it's super easy and convenient. Shoes, you're going to want to bag those in plastic grocery bags just to kind of keep the dirt or dust out of your suitcase. So that's the first thing that's on my list. And then day two, there's going to be a breakfast, brunch, pool time, and dinner, a casual dinner. Okay. So you're going to want to take sticky notes and do like day two and label each outfit. Okay. So for brunch that day, I've labeled it day two, brunch, and everything I will need is inside this outfit. Nice. So she has a necklace in there, she's got her undergarments that match this particular yep. outfit. And then the shoes, you can't roll your shoes up in your outfit, so just put it directly on top or underneath in your suitcase, and that's a very helpful tool. Perfect. So you're always going to want to bring with you your essentials. So essentials could be something as small as this that I got from United Airlines just to kind of help me keep everything organized in here. And you're always going to want to keep it in your suitcase even when you get back. Okay. Because it's something where these are small items that you're not going to be using every single day. They're almost like refills of the products you like. Okay. So it doesn't matter which conditioner and shampoo bottle is labeled. This right. isn't what's in it's here. It's whatever you want it's to It's whatever you're there. using at that time. Yep. So a lot of clients keep way too many of these little travel items. It's way too much to keep track of, takes up way too much space. Donate those to a homeless shelter. Keep only a few of them so that it's easy for you to find and it's all compact together here, like toothpaste, whitening strips, vitamins. I love using these types of binder clips for my headphones. I keep a pair of extra headphones Perfect. with travel all the time. Mini toothbrush and hairbrush. You'll get by with these things. If you forget one little thing, it's easy to purchase a toiletry. It's not easy to repurchase shoes or a whole outfit. Makeup bag, small handbag. So you're going to have your women, you're going to have your big carry on, yep. big purse, small purse. Do something neutral that'll go with all your outfits. If you have to have more than one, that's okay too. Pack it with your outfit. So on day two, I also mentioned we're doing the pool. So inside of this cover up is my bathing suit is sunscreen very That's important great. yeah so it's like packing everything you would need for the pool some people some clients will even take the beach towel and then wrap it around this whole outfit That's a great idea. so that when you're going to the beach it's like oh let me get ready it'll take three minutes yes put it on get ready to go perfect it just it allows you to pack only what you need but you're not going to miss anything because you're thinking the outfit through before you're packing it so it's very helpful you do that for each day and it's really just going to eliminate a lot of chaos and headache. And, you know, so with okay, these flip-flops, I personally didn't put them in a bag just because I'm going to wash all of this yes. anyways. I don't really care. Yeah. Some people might. That's fine. And then I bagged the sunscreen so that, God forbid, it explodes in your suitcase. You're yep. good to go with it in here. So wrap all your outfits together. It makes 
packing the last day at the bottom and up to the top day at the top so you don't you can live out of the suitcase you don't even have to hang in so after you write down all the things that you're going to do you yes. start with day four let's say and then day three day two and then day one is at the top and put your essentials on top because okay. you'll need those right maybe right. mid-flight you're trying yep. to freshen up before you see people keep those on the top excellent yes. and i and one last tip that i love that you shared during the 60 minute was unpack right away Right. Okay. Keep your dirty clothes. Keep this pocket open here. Put all your dirty clothes inside of that so it's separate from your clean clothes. Then all you have to do is throw the dirty in the wash and hang up a few items that aren't dirty. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Done. Excellent. And you don't have to think about it because then you're looking at it for a week because the work week is busy and stressful and you definitely don't want to do it then. Absolutely. So. I love it. Sarah, thank you for Hi. joining us again. You're welcome. If anyone wants to find out information about you, where can they go? Go to sorganizing.com. That's your home base. That's the website. And then you can get to the YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook from there. Excellent. Thank you again. Oh, Everyone, welcome. you are watching the Dr. Jamie Show. If you want to see all of Sarah's tips, you can watch them on my YouTube channel, iTunes, Google Play. You can hear the full 60-minute episode. Do me a favor, right below, put a comment on your biggest takeaway from this particular episode. And rate and review the Dr. Jamie Show five stars. Please have a great and organized day. Thank you so much for listening to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I really hope that you enjoyed the tips and advice given on today's segment. Do me a favor and go to iTunes and my YouTube and please subscribe to that channel. Every subscribe, every like, every follow helps the Dr. Jamie Show grow so that we can bring you the best guest and the best content possible. And of course, as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave that as well. Talk to you soon.